from one ocean to the other and even across the Atlantic. It's hard to imagine we've traveled so many places in only a year. We soaked up the sun on the shores of Oxnard, California, did our best to keep warm in Quebec City's ice hotel, and even swam with sharks in Tampa Bay, Florida. You pretend like you're falling, ready? It's clear to see that my family and I have made some amazing memories on our travels. And we want to share them all with you in this special best of the season episode of Family Travel. Welcome to Columbia, South Carolina. Welcome to Sevierville, Tennessee. Welcome to Scotland. And we're in Quebec City, Canada. Hey y'all, we're in the Lone Star State in Dallas, Texas. We're in Oxnard, California. Are you ready girls? Hop on a plane, boat, or car, and join us as we get up close and personal with some incredible animals. Taste some delicious and interesting food, go on adventures we'll never forget, and marvel at some of the world's most unique attractions. My name is Colleen Kelly, and when I was single, I lived abroad and traveled the world. Then I became a parent and wondered, how would I ever travel again? So I set out to find a new way to travel and get back to exploring the world family style. I'm here to guide you on how to get the most out of your family vacation. Pack your bags and join me, Colleen Kelly. We're going on vacation. Cute, cuddly, and sometimes a bit scary, we've come across all kinds of animals during our trips, some of which we even met face to face. I am holding a kangaroo. At the Riverbank Zoo in Columbia, South Carolina, we got to chill with some adorable penguins. You want to hug them? They look like stuffed they animals. They do look they? like you could hug them, but trust me, with this very strong beak yeah. he has right there, you don't want to hug them. <laughs> well, there's some taller animals here at the zoo that I think we want to feed. So, would you like to try to do that? Yeah. All right, all right, say thank you. Thank all right, you. thanks again, that was great. Though our behind the scenes encounter with the penguins is not something that's open to the public, feeding the giraffes is. Here they come. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at the time. We even decided to get a little more adventurous. I just touched a snake, it's the first time I've ever done that. All these years I've never done it, and it was cool. Isn't that bad, right? Yeah. Our next destination had the animals coming to us. At the Virginia Safari Park in Shenandoah Valley, where you don't even have to leave your car to feed some gentle giants. Welcome to the Virginia Safari Park. Thank we you. are the biggest park in the Virginia. We have over 180 acres, and we're about to see over 1,000 animals today. Oh my goodness, 1,000 animals. I can't get over you can get this close to an animal. Look at this. Look how close we are. I love these little animals. So Good travel tip. You're gonna go through a lot of buckets of food here, so buy a lot in the beginning. What we're doing now is trying to shake our food to get the bison down. He likes it. Oh here, bison. Look at that tongue. <laughs> I feel like a dentist. Open. Uh, I want to take a selfie with bison. We could never forget this animal adventure, and we've got the selfies to prove it. Help Come on, photo bomb me, bison. Our next wildlife encounter took a little more courage. What an experience this is. This is going to be fun. At the Florida Aquarium, visitors are not only able to see the animals, but they get to swim with them. And we weren't able to pass up the opportunity. Welcome to Family Travel. I'm Colleen Kelly, and we're about to dive into Tampa Bay. You ready? All right, let's go. Head off the stage. That's it, swim with your hands. Want to see the eel over here? Yeah, come over here, girls. It wasn't a question I ever thought I'd say yes to, but with Shay's encouragement, we decided to face our fears. Giant shark, we're ready for off. Did you so ever cool. think you would swim with fish that big, Keelan? Or sharks, Shay? I get scared. <laughs> but you did it. I don't know how to explain this experience. First of all, I never thought that I'd ever swim with sharks or have the courage to do it, but I did it. So I'm kind of proud of myself. Um, and I learned a lot about sharks that, you know, they're more afraid of us than we are of them. While in Tampa, we also checked out the Lowry Park Zoo's Manatee Encounter Exhibit, where we learned everything that goes into ocean and animal conservation. There he is! Aww. Look at the He's using his little arms. <laughs> we also saw famous Highland cattle in Scotland, learned the secrets behind some incredible horse performances at the Texas State Fair, 
And who could forget our whale watching excursion at the Channel Islands National Park in Oxnard, California? Known as America's Galapagos, the area's climate and biodiversity make the Channel Islands an ideal spot for whale watching. Okay, over the water. The other one, no. the other one. Hey, There's hardly a better way to get in touch with nature than by observing the animals in it. Seeing these beautiful creatures in their natural habitat was truly magical. When traveling to a new destination, one of the best ways to soak up the culture is by trying the local cuisine. Fabulous. Get your mm. taste buds ready. We're awesome. going to take a look back at some of the most delicious and unique foods we've tasted this year. <laughs> if Tex-Mex is your guilty pleasure, there's hardly a more authentic choice than La Fontana's Mexican restaurant in Dallas, Texas. When you get here, it's super casual. You can come in shorts and a t-shirt and bring your dog and, and it's like hanging out in the park. There's no indoor seats, so it's uh, it's all outside. When you're on vacation, what do you do? You try what? Is this, should I do it with my shirt? <laughs> I'll take it. What do you do on vacation? Eat. Well, yeah. <laughs> but you try new things, right? Okay, let me tell, tell me how this, this tastes. I love corn tortillas, and I love like Mexican street food. This is what Dallas is all about, just getting here, having a taco that tastes great, and hanging out with family, right? Mm. Cheers! If you've got a sweet tooth, we've got a solution. Courthouse Donuts in Sevierville, Tennessee is a sweet spot where every donut is one of a kind. Hey guys, how are you? Hi, great. Awesome, who's in the mood for donuts today? Who's not in the mood for donuts? Oh, we've got some good <laughs> ones. Have you had the donuts before? Do you know how it works? No? Well, we start with a vanilla cake donut. So all the donuts themselves are actually the same. Then you choose an icing, choose a topping, and choose a sauce. So you decorate it however you want it decorated. And here's the cool thing. There are about 19 on this side that are the most popular. On this side, tells you all the toppings, the icings, and the sauces, and you just go line by line and tell us what you want. The girls even got to make some interesting donuts of their own. Got mustard and pickles. Okay, that works. <laughs> She's gonna love this. Can we put some peanut butter on top of it? <laughs> it's perfect. But to be nice, we should probably make a good donut for it. Let's make her chocolate. The first two donuts the girls made for me were delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, mm. what is that? Peanut butter and chocolate. Yes. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, you girls know me so well. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's very good. Guess what that is. Mmm. Coconut? This is my personal favorite. I'm so favorite. proud of you. I bet this one's gonna be the best one. But nothing so could have cool. prepared me for the last one. Okay. Where is it? It's in your hands. I got a big bite. Two of them! Oh! <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's spicy. Oh, water? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Guess what it is? I tasted pickles on a donut. Yeah? Okay. What was it, like, what was the flavor? What was it iced with? Um, Spicy, thank you, Keelan. Even though some flavors might not be everyone's favorite, we'll let you be the judge. What's the verdict? In our taste test, the pickled donut wins. Case closed. While in Sevierville, be sure to also stop at Frank Allen's Market. This roadside diner may not look like much more than a gas station on the outside, but inside, it's a local gem. Everybody just likes to come here, you know, they got good hamburgers, good food. We said, well, it has to be good if there's a lot of people eating here. Uh -huh. We 
like How to are order, you? please. Oh, that's Can probably going to have a cheeseburger. One cheeseburger. And you know what I'd like, Frank. I'm right? a slow dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Let's go sit down. Oh, my gosh. That was good. Is it good? Is that the best cheeseburger you've ever had? Really? Wow. Shay, is it good or great? Great. <laughs> When you come to Sevierville, you have to come to Frank Allen's Market. It's where the locals eat, and it's also where Dolly Parton gets a saw dog, just like this. For some more down-home Southern cooking, look no further than Doc's Barbecue in Columbia, South Carolina. This is amazing. It's so good. This is like my dream as a barbecue place like this. Well, we're certainly glad you're enjoying it, and uh, we sure try hard to make it be good every day. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. And I love the fact you can try a bunch of things, right? We already got a thumbs up everything. on the mac and cheese. Ah, uh, right there. Good. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Double thumb up. Good deal. Yeah. Good deal. And there's also something very local, and it's that sauce, right? Well, we call it our blend sauce, and it is, again, a sauce that Mr. Stevenson developed 35 years ago and it's a base mustard uh, South Carolina sauce that the natives of South Carolina really love their mustard sauce but he's added some uh, special ingredients and things uh, to it over the years to where I don't think anybody's got a mustard sauce quite like ours. Secret? We yes, ma'am. Are you going to tell us at the end? <laughs> Whatever the secret ingredient, I think we can all agree there's hardly a better spot for some good barbecue than Doc's. Over the course of our travels, we also got to try fresh maple taffy at the Sugar Shack in Quebec City. Oh, this is so good. Experience authentic Cuban food at the Columbia oh, Restaurant in Tampa, Florida. So colorful, too. Make your own pasta in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Check out some of the freshest fish in California, straight from the ocean to Oxnard's Hollywood Beach Cafe. And one of the most interesting foods we tried, haggis in Scotland. Join with us and toast the haggis. Made with the heart, liver, and lungs of a sheep, mixed with oatmeal and various spices, haggis is a traditional Scottish dish. Excellent. Let's toast to a Scottish tradition and trying new foods. Good job, girls. Yeah. Cheers. And if you're in Scotland and looking to work off all that delicious food, bring the family to one of Highland's most popular pubs, the Hoot Nanny, where you can dance the night away. Colleen, let's go shooting. Okay. Had our share of adventures this year. Okay, now get me out of this thing. <laughs> and even though some of them didn't go quite as planned, like getting rained out in Shenandoah Valley. I don't have to thank you very much for the shower tonight on the bright side. I'm still taking the shower. <laughs> or Shay going overboard in Scotland. Look how brave she is! We always made the most of it. One of my favorite new experiences was dog sledding in Quebec City, Canada. So I'm here in Quebec City at a dog sledding outfitter, and I'm here with Bruno, and we are going to learn how to dog sled, right? Yes. yes. And you're going to teach me about this sled. Now, what do I need to know? Well, take place, uh, stand up in the back of the sled, okay. like you will do when you're going to be driving. Mm -hmm. So you're holding the handle, like this? and you're stepping on the brake. Okay. Step on the this brake the now. Brake. Right here. There you go. Atria is the, your leader. Okay. She's a 60-year-old uh, female. Can we cut her? And yeah, go ahead. She's beautiful. They're beautiful dogs. And she's smart. It's just smart. To be a good leader, you gotta be smart. That's the first quality. That's like me. <laughs> there you go. And after a lesson, we were ready to take to the snow. All right, you ready to help me drive this thing? Okay, let's go. Here we go. All right, get ready. While in Quebec City, we also had a blast at Valcartier Vacation Village and even went snow tubing. The girls are behind me, Greg's down there, and we're pulling up our tube and we're gonna go down the hill. I'm hoping for my sake it's gonna be medium fast, not too fast, but the girls, of course, wanna go really fast. But this is what you can do here. Isn't this cool? 
I've never done this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna scream. Are you gonna scream? <laughs> Who's scared? <laughs> <laughs> On a slightly warmer note, our adventures led us into the ocean for paddleboarding at the Channel Islands Kayak Center in Oxnard, California. I'm going to nudge you off, let go, then grab your paddle, go for it, ready, set, one, two, yeah, woo! off you go, go for it, don't be afraid, one, two, nice wide stance, woo! you got it, nice. and go ahead and stand up, go for it, go boom, ahead. boom, nice wide stance, yes, good job, Shane. okay. We also reached new heights in Sevierville, Tennessee. We crossed over America's longest swinging bridge, cheered Keelan on as she rode the 165 foot tall lightning red roller coaster. I was holding really on so tight that my nail hurt. Got a stunning view of the Smokies on a helicopter tour and took a rocky ATV ride up Foxfire Mountain where the girls ziplined for a grand finale. How fun was that? That was really fun. How fast do you think you went? I have no clue who went fast. We even got in touch with local folklore and ghost stories. We learned about the ghost of Fink Finley, who supposedly haunts the Tampa Theater. Um, every projectionist we've had up there has had experiences from um, doors feeling like they're being pulled open behind them, uh, things falling off counters when there's nobody up there, and uh, specifically when they're projecting movies and watching the screen for their next cue, feeling like somebody's tapping them on the shoulder to get them to pay attention. And we search for the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Well, not many people have seen Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny, right? Yeah. So... Well, more people have seen the Loch Ness Monster. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I think that kind of proves the theory right there. Yes. Nessie does exist. Yeah. Who knows what our adventures our next year will take us on. We've gotten to experience so many one-of-a-kind attractions while on trips, some of which you might just have to see to believe. If you're visiting Quebec City, Canada and looking for a unique place to stay, there's no place cooler than the Hotel de Glace, literally. Have you ever seen anything like this? Everyone, welcome to the Hotel de Glace. My name is Patricia, so I'm really happy to have you here with me. So the first thing I want to show you today is our beautiful slide. Look at this. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. It's pretty, uh, right? Yeah. Oh my God. So here it is. Oh, look, they're going down the slide. <laughs> Made entirely of ice, the Hotel de Glace opened in 2001 and since has hosted over 1 million visitors from all over the world. Beginning in December, a team of 50 workers used 30,000 tons of snow and 500 tons of ice to build the hotel every year. How do people stay warm here? Because this is a question I've heard a lot, you know. I mean, you want to be warm at night, right? Yes, of course, of course. I, can, I understand that. So when you sleep here, you will always have a mandatory meeting with a guide who will tell you everything you need to do and to avoid to make sure you spend a comfortable night here. But the most important thing is to raise your body temperature. From eight to nine, a team will, will clean the room and place a sleeping bag on your bed. So what happens is that you need to raise your body temperature in order to warm your sleeping bag your, you yourself. That? So to do that, you can either go dancing in the bar section, <laughs> if you will have really good music over there, or you can wow. go into the hot tub. You don't need to wear all your jackets and everything. You wear what you would wear at home. Oh, let's go to sleep. Let's go. Ah. They can play around us while we sleep. <laughs> This is what parents do. Every vacation needs a little relaxation time. At the White Oaks Lavender Farm in Shenandoah Valley, Virginia, you'll find it impossible to be stressed. All right. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Good. Uh, we're here to learn how to harvest lavender, something we've never done before. Okay. Well, yeah, there's a whole bunch of uses for lavender, uh, but in order to use them, you have to harvest them. So do you guys want to help me out? Yeah. Okay. Here's some scissors. Um, so what you'll do in here, 
to kind of walk your way through. And with eggplant, you want to go past the first set of leaves and not the second. So you just cut right here, and there's your lever. That's okay. it. All right, we can do that, right? I don't know. You could lay down in this field of lavender, take a nap. <laughs> I almost could. I think I could. You think you could too? It's very relaxing. At this family-owned business, visitors get the chance to pick and prepare their own lavender. And from there, they can make lavender halos of their own and even sample some lavender ice cream, lavender wine, or try their many other lavender products. If you're looking for some serenity, you're sure to find it here. Whatever the experience or destination, we always make sure to We're get into character. All right, let's go. You ready to meet Clan Chief's wife? I am. OK, do you want to have a look over here? <laughs> and her daughters. <laughs> the debut. Whoa, look at me. Oh, you look I good. I survived the battle. I love it. So what do you think? I love it. Would you fight for me? I'll fight to the death. Oh. How about this? Yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll pay off my Okay. <laughs> Yeehaw! So today we're at Heritage Square and we're ready to go back in time. Are you ready, girls? Yeah. All right. Woo! And look at this. Oh, <laughs> wow. You look handsome. It's definitely a fashion statement. What do you think? Looking good? Looking good. This tea is the bee's knees. Last but certainly not least of our unique attractions, a stop at Chattanooga, Tennessee's spectacular Lookout Mountain. In this scenic paradise, visitors can buy one ticket that includes Lookout Mountain's Incline Railway, Ruby Falls, and Rock City. To get to the top of the mountain, we ride up their century-old incline, where our journey gives us views so spectacular, it's known as America's most amazing mile. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Look up. No, look up, up, up. We're oh, wow. way up there. My ears are popping. Are your ears popping? Mine too. <laughs> I'm scared. Like, I'm really scared. Are you scared? Yes. Even with a journey that's just as beautiful as the destination, we still took a moment at the lookout to soak up the view. Gorgeous. Oh, we made it up the incline mountain. It was a little scary, but look at this view. This is so worth it. It's the best view of Chattanooga. Isn't this great? It's amazing. Well, I have another idea for us. I think we should go to Rock City next and see more views of Chattanooga. Okay. What do you think? Definitely. All right. Cool. One more look, girls. All right, let's go. As spectacular as the view from Lookout Mountain was, we still only saw one state. Nearby in Rock City, we got to see seven. It's the only place in the country where you can see Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama all at once. Talk about an incredible view. We have seen, done, and tasted so many amazing things on our trips. One of the many wonderful things about traveling is never knowing quite what you'll find. Every place has something that makes it unique. Whether it's the animals, the food, the people, four years old, Yep. Scared and nervous. Or the adventure. But as always, nothing is more important than who you're with. Whatever it is you're looking to discover, I hope you'll find it on your next family vacation. Cuba, America. Cuba, America. Hey girls, are you ready to go see the rest of Ybor City? We're leaving you in Cuba. Okay, leave me in Cuba. Goodbye. See you later. Oh, I'm gonna go with them. <laughs> Guess who's coming in tomorrow? Dad, Uncle Greg, and your cousin Donovan, and your sister Donovan. We'll toast to them. Nice job. Woo! Great Woo. job, girls. That's the ring that Dad should have gotten. <laughs> that is the ring that Dad should have gotten me. Woo! Okay, how'd we do? Okay, we're going to race. Yeah.
together. Great. Thanks for watching Family Travel. I'm Colleen Kelly. Enjoy making memories on your next family vacation. I'm Colleen Kelly. Welcome to my kingdom. I'm kidding. I'm just visiting. Smart a few years from now. <laughs> does kind of look like you. <laughs> I mean, you know, I could. You know, he's even got a boom pole. <laughs> boom pie.